Good morning, folks. As you see December's Arctic pressure anomaly where the magnetic north pole is heading, you'll notice Alaska at my cursor if you're having issues seeing it. Got a lot to cover today, so let's do it. Billionaire, corporate man, top 1%, opinions from the peanut gallery on a vegetarian Mars. Australia just had their warmest day ever. They had to change their temperature color scale. The 2012 State of the Climate Report is out, folks. Tons of graphics. Can't show them all. This can keep you busy all day. BBC article revising down the warming predictions on the climate, saying it's not warming as much as they'd thought. But they are cautious to remark that this doesn't change the bigger picture, and I agree. The warming is real. But even if you take their highest estimates, the CO2 line has already deviated from that temperature and is essentially on a vertical line now. Next, you'd think I'd love this, NASA pushing for the solar climate connection, just like me, except they are saying that the minuscule increases in solar output are a major driver. I was happy to see their layered mechanics diagram, which is close to what I've shown before, the known, understood, and accepted mechanism for the climate effect of the sun. In addition to climate, yesterday I described how space weather could induce ground currents, the things they are now using to predict quakes, but there's another mechanism by which the solar effect moves large amounts of air or changes drastically the pressure on the land or the sea level many quake triggers. Back to NASA's article, you can find them discuss the magnetosphere but not until the very last paragraph and in no way relating to my causation hypothesis which can be found in the link right below this video. Carlsberg Ridge in the Indian Ocean having a major quake swarm. Something is shifting. Slightly north of that we had a 5.9 in India. Folks, I will be scaling back weather coverage to major events in addition to being able to check this stuff for yourself. You don't really need their forecasts. Air rushing to a point in Texas? Hmm. Air rushing north and away from the middle of the United States. Air always flying into the blue lows and away from the red highs. That Texas low dips way south so the moist air rushing north from the Gulf of Mexico is warm, hitting cold, drier air and that's a recipe for precipitation and here's the watch zone for this evening. Cyclone Norell is strengthening and is going to give Western Australia a visit in a few days. Recorded this last night, Rio meter cut out at 1200 UTC. Interesting that the induction magnetometer is missing data at that same time period as well. To the right of that is some baseline resonance. Now at the original time in question as we look at the solar wind, 1200, the density rises in the orange and the shallowing out of temperature in green suggests the leading edge or contrasting wave of solar wind. Not enough for a malfunction, they may have hit a geoelectric event. On the right, that slight little rise caused the baseline resonance on the induction magnetometer and was likely the CME impact. Impact. If you can quickly note the one orange blip on the left side between 7 and 8 UTC, it was a proton and electron event here on Earth as well. Coming to today's solar wind, we see that the CME impact was very, very weak and not very long lived. Still didn't get the coronal hole stream though. Sunspots are dying fast. Take 50 off yesterday's sunspot number as they all fall down, save one on the eastern limb. Two massive umbra, two oppositely polarized umbra, and a shocking amount of calm so far. If you gotta watch something else, there is a third sister born between the two cresting together last week. Look closely on the right. Do you see this filament expanding and releasing? I saw much dive back into the sun during the solar tsunami produced in the wake of the instability, but I would have expected a CME. Satellites show nothing, but some are missing data. And the SOHO flipped around, which is why that arm is now on the bottom left. Major Earth-facing coronal hole. We've had space weather anomalies and a hell of an uptick on the Carlsberg Ridge. That's a small earthquake watch. Eyes open. No fear. It's 6.30 a.m. Eastern Time, and that's the news. Be safe, everyone.